As it's Houston Sports Talk back into the video day, and today the Houston Texans play the Pittsburgh Steelers for game two of the preseason, and it's going to be interesting. Uh, hopefully, let's see the Houston Texans play a full four-quarter game tonight. Uh, keep our fingers crossed after the Texans did lose their first preseason game in the Hall of Fame game 21-17. to Although the starters did not play, only two of the 24 starters played for the Houston Texans, and not only that, but also the... Uh, game got canceled with three minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the third quarter due to rain. Uh, but tonight, the Texans do play the Pittsburgh Steelers. Their starters will be playing. There are a couple starters that are injured, and we will go over the injuries for the Texans going into this game, the, the guys that are not expected to play. Uh, for the Pittsburgh Steelers, I want to start off with Justin Fields starting for Pittsburgh tonight. Not sure if we're going to see the Steelers' other starters like Najee Harris and George Pickens, but Russell Wilson is not playing due to his uh, injury that he is dealing with. But here are some Texans that are not playing in this game tonight, uh, you know, thanks to Aaron Wilson. So a bunch of Texans not playing. Titus Howard dealing with a knee, knee injury. Lermy Tunsil still recovering from his offseason knee scope. Kamari Lasseter is not playing, which is really a big bummer. I was really excited to potentially see him go play tonight. Uh, Texans first draft pick selected in the second round. Will Anderson Jr. dealing with an ankle injury. Tim Settle Jr. dealing with a calf injury. Desmond King dealing with a groin injury. Christian Harris with a calf injury. Charlie Heck is not playing as well. Uh, Tegan Quantoriano has a strained calf. Noah Brown with a strained shoulder. Jeff Akuda, Brevin Jordan, and Dieter Elson are not playing in this game tonight. There are no listed injuries for them. And then... Danico Autry is not playing as he is suspended. So was really looking for out of some of the guys that we mentioned tonight that that are out tonight. Uh, the out of all of them was really looking for to see Kamari Lasseter make his debut. Everybody else we uh, have seen before in a Texans uniform. Um, a little upset that we you know we're not going to see Will Anderson Jr. But it's not like we want him to be healthy. It's not like we haven't seen him before. But the one that that you know was really excited to see was the you know the first year guy Kamari Lasseter. But you still have CJ Stroud playing tonight. You have Stefan Diggs and Daniel Hunter making their Texans debuts. I'm excited to see Damian Pierce uh, because the Texans have been absolutely praising him all training camp and uh, says he looks like a completely different running back. So I'm excited to see what he can go out and do tonight. We didn't see him last Thursday against the Bears. Uh, a couple other guys offensively, like Nico Collins and Tank Dell, excited to see. Not as much as excited to see you know, them as potentially seeing Stefan Diggs and Daniel Hunter make their debuts and see Damian Pierce. Uh, and, I, and that's not me saying I, I'm a bigger fan of Damian Pierce than I am Nico Collins and Tank Dell, because I'm not. I'm just really excited to see what he can go out there and do since the Texans have been praising him all training camp. Uh, and we have heard nothing but good things about him this year in training camp. I'm sure we'll also see Dalton Schultz tight end as well. So that will be good. And uh, I mean, it's excited to see backup quarterback Davis Mills out there today because he looked really good in his first couple drives with the Texans in the first preseason game. Through a touchdown pass, two drives, both led to scoring drives for the Texans. Uh, the team scored 10 points when he when he was out there with the team and the offense. And um, so he looked really good. And let's not forget one of the lower uh, battles in, in, you know, in this training camp and preseason. We, we, we know about the wide receiver battles and the cornerback battles. But there is a real, right now, real you know battle for the backup quarterback position between Case Keenum and Davis Mills. Uh the Texans have not announced a backup quarterback yet. And I thought that both players looked pretty solid uh or looked really good in their uh preseason debut. So I'm excited to see how both Case Keenum and Davis Mills play when they they're given a chance in this game tonight because both guys played good last week. Both guys could be the backup quarterback for the Texans. Uh, and it was a little bit weird last year because Davis Mills was the back quarterback for the Texans. But then when C.J. Stroud got hurt, the Texans went and started with the veteran in Case Keenum. He had a good outing in Tennessee. The Texans got a win in overtime. That was great. And then uh, if you look at the next week after that, the Texans played the Browns. Case Keenum looked terrible. They brought in Davis Mills after that. And, 
in two drives, they, the Texans scored two touchdowns. I know the Texans got blown out in that game, but last year in the two games that Shroud got injured, both Davis Mills and Case Keenum showed good things. In the preseason in week one they against the Bears, they showed good things. Uh, or I don't know if you call that preseason week one. It's just preseason game one, Hall of Fame game. Um, this this week is preseason week one. But, you know, both guys showed some good things, so I'm excited to see where that QB2 battle uh, continues because I think right now either one of those guys could be the, the backup quarterback for the Texans. But, you know, that those are the guys I'm excited to see tonight. Of course, I'm excited to see C.J. Stroud and Stephon Diggs and Damian Pierce and Daniil Hunter. Uh, also really excited to see, you know, the, the two other quarterbacks in Case Keenum and uh, Davis Mills and also really excited to see Tank Dell and Nico Collins. Let me know your thoughts on the Houston Texans going out there tonight. Uh, if I'm going to make a prediction, I'm going to say the Texans get a win tonight with C.J. Stroud out there um, and the offense out there. Uh, I'm going to say they get a win. Uh, but, you know, Steelers got some good depth, so the Texans are gonna probably gonna have to, probably going to have to fight in this one. And, and the quarterback room for the Pittsburgh Steelers, outside of Russell Wilson and Justin Fields, their other quarterback is former Houston Texans quarterback Kyle Allen. So we will see a former Texans quarterback going up against this Texans team tonight, so that should be interesting. Let me know your thoughts on the game in the comment section. Give me your, prediction, give me your predictions, and peace out. Go Texans.